Hey, hello, good friends. So, wow, it's a kind of a crazy week as far as tech news is concerned. Uh, you have a lot of news. Let's go, we're going to cover really quickly. If you if you didn't know, Nvidia just announced their 3000 series of graphics cards, which is awesome, and it was a great showing. Um, and if you didn't see that my video, that go through that. Um, but the 3080 is going to be released Thursday, the 17th. Um, and I've seen a lot of people actually do an unboxing this week. Um, you know, a lot of the uh, more experienced YouTubers. <laughs> I'm not one of them yet. Um, but they do uh, a great unboxing and go through, you know, the physical looks of everything. Um, and then I think the embargo lifts for them to give us more data on the card. Uh, they'll do some benchmarking and testing. They should be doing that all this week. Um, and then we should see some of that um, data the day before, on the 16th, so Wednesday. Um, so that'll be good to see. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing that, uh, to see if the 3080 would be worth it, because uh, that's what I'll be going for um, in my personal PC. Um, and I'll be uh, doing a video on that as well. As far as the benchmarks, if they're what their NVIDIA claims, um, and if these cards are to the level what NVIDIA claims, then the 3080 will be perfect for my setup. Hopefully purchasing on the 17th. Um, if that does go through, then I will do my own testing. Um, I will be show you how to install it in your PC. I'll install it in mine, do a video of installing. In other news, <laughs> in other news, that's funny. But before the NVIDIA announcement, we have the Apple event, which is tomorrow, um, or today, whenever you're seeing this, which is the uh, 15th of September. 2020 so we'll see what's coming out of that event uh, I was just recently told um, that the there will not be any iPhones in this event which would be very interesting um, maybe it's going to be more classroom centered or creative centered maybe a new pencil or something like that uh, maybe new iPads I think usually September is usually when they do hardware uh, so hopefully we'll get some kind of hardware. I would even assume a new iMac, maybe a new iMac design finally. And after the Apple event, you have the PlayStation event, which is going to be September the 16th. So September 16th, you have the PlayStation event and the NVIDIA um, 3080 specs coming out, testing coming out from your YouTubers. So take a look at those. They should be coming out then. PlayStation event is supposed to be around 40 minutes, I think 40, 50 minutes, something like that, um, with a lot of new gameplay and new games, uh, probably for the next generation. It's the perfect time for them to obviously reveal price and things like that, release date, pre-orders. It's really late in the game for them to do that, especially since uh, Xbox just announced theirs last week. If you didn't see that, the Xbox Series X is going to be $499, which is a great price. That's awesome. I'm actually going to get one because I have the Xbox All Access, so I will upgrade to that. That way I can do some testing, straight up testing, for the 3080 compared to the Xbox. So that'd be great. They announced the Xbox Series S, which got leaked, so that's why they went ahead and announced everything which that is a price of uh, $299, which is very affordable. Uh, great entry level console for sure. PlayStation should hopefully re reveal their price and their release date. Be cool to see some gameplay. So far, they've had some really great gameplay. Um, and I know some of their main titles are being pushed back a little bit, but expect to see Spider-Man, um, Miles Morales, and some of the other games. Uh, more gameplay. Uh, maybe Horizon Zero Dawn, hopefully. We'll see how far that is in development. Uh, but it'd be cool to see that um, and see some more games coming for PlayStation. And hopefully, my hope is that they will announce some of the older games coming to PC, which would be great. They've been doing that slowly. Um, you know, a few games have come to PC for that. The PlayStation is rumored to cost 400, around $450 to produce. Um, so... The price of $499 for the console is most likely going to be the price, which that's going to be very interesting as a competition from PlayStation to Xbox. It's uh, very competitive. The Xbox is very competitive for that, um, you know, and the power, general power of it, and the services that Xbox offers outside of PlayStation. 
However, you do have PlayStation exclusives, which if you want to play those exclusives and people that are already built into the PlayStation ecosystem, most likely don't want to transfer over to Xbox, but we'll see. Um, be interesting to see that. Possibly the PlayStation, which there's two variants, a there's a all digital edition, which will most likely be fifty dollars less, and also a uh, one with a CD with the CD DVD ROM drive. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see those um, the actual price of it and compare it against the Xbox. Uh, as I'm all in all in kind of PC now, um, and Xbox definitely has uh, you know some the Xbox Game Pass for PC. And if you didn't hear that the Xbox Game Pass now now will have EA Play, um, which is great. So you can play all the old, old EA game titles, and this is going to be built into your Game Pass Game Pass subscription. So that's some of the news for the week. It's going to be an exciting week. A lot of news uh, coming out this week. Um, I'm excited for the uh, 3080 uh, information. Uh, so definitely. So thanks for watching. Uh, just. Look forward to seeing what comes out this week. Uh, we get to start that tomorrow and Wednesday and then Thursday. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Uh, please like, subscribe if you can, if you will. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.